Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 under that much difficulty. Last time we uh, completed both the quests for uh, Saris and Hjalmar and that kind of concludes the quests for the the preparation quest for the King selection for Skellige, but uh, before we go on with that line of questing, I wanted to do something a bit different. Um, today we're going to do the quest Practicum in Advanced Alchemy. Um, I found an alchemist that uh, I could ask whether he knew a master alchemist, and he said that there was actually a very skilled alchemist named Gremist, and he lives on Skellige, near the Druid's place where we uh, started off from and uh, we need to find his workshop and hopefully we can learn a lot from this guy because I really like the alchemy in this game because uh, it allows you to well brew better poisons and better potions and I want to see if I can't get over the, the blockage I've uh, reached in uh, creating new potions you must pass your knowledge on I'm no trout that must get to its spawning ground I should do what I please, now leave me be. So there's a druid here. But he seems to have lost all interest. But this is Gremist, the alchemist, so let's talk to him. Wanna talk to you. But I do not wish to speak. Leave. You distress me. Hmm, you seem nice. You seem a nice enough guy. Well, I'm not. A plan never to be. I became a druid to avoid others, to not have to deal with them, not to smile when I don't wish to, to feign compassion when someone's travails matter less to me than a pair of birch cones. So I shall be straight, get out of my sight, before something, I know not what, deprives you of yours. Okay, very friendly man, but I still want to learn from you. I want you to share your knowledge, teach me alchemy. You, my apprentice. <laughs> That's rich. While you're at it, why did you ask Uderic if he'll share Spickerog with you? I'm serious. <laughs> That's so. Don't make me laugh. I've devoted my life to alchemy, sun, literary. Spent countless days and nights with nothing but alembics, choking on fumes, scorching my skin with acids. If you think I'll simply portray to you what I learned through years of sacrifice and toil, then you're mistaken. Deeply. Okay, then what do you need from me? Can I convince you somehow? Oh, gods. You're as bothersome as a gadfly before a storm. Hmm. The way I'm preparing to perform a rather tricky ritual. So I could use some help. Even yours. I require three favors. Do them for me, and I shall accept you as my apprentice. Okay, there we go. That's a well, starting well, point at least. There's a way after all. Get off your high horse and listen. First, you must bring me a pimpernel from the Muskogan forest. Second, I need a bottle of spirit from the old distillery on Hale Hill. Finally, convince Fridjof to help me perform the rite. He's a druid like I am. You'll find him near Blandara. I believe he's there on a matter of some import. So, what will it be? Well, we agree, of course. Um, do I need to ask all of that? Well, let's start with that. This Fritjof. Who is he? A Vader maker, huh? You a don't know Vader more, maker. And I pledge to make you my apprentice. A Vader maker is a druid who can manipulate the weather, stop a storm, cause hail, make lightning turn your enemy to ash. I advise to address him with the utmost respect, if you value your life. Sounds like really sound advice and the spirit, why do you need that? Spirit? Why do you need that? As you must know, potential apprentice, alcohol is the base for all potions. Superior alcohol means a higher quality potion. The spirit has no equal. Its strength, its flavor, 
Flavor, huh? The distillery atop Hale Hill has fallen into disrepair. We've lacked a source ever since. But you'll manage somehow, won't you? You're so confident. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna bite me in the ass. And then the Pimpernel? Hmm. The Pimpernel. As far as I know, it's got no use in alchemy apart from... Would you teach your grandmother to suck eggs? It's not any Pimpernel, but the one that grows in the Morskogan forest. And if the rumors are true, a creature jealously guards all the herbs growing there. Great. Forest creature jealously guarding some secrets? Sounds familiar. Okay then, let's do it. All right, I'll do it. But this ritual you want to perform, what's that about? If ye wish to be my apprentice, you must stop asking questions. I decide what to tell you and when to do it. Now go, chop chop, before I change my mind. So, we're standing really close right now, chest to chest. But, um, what are the three things? So we have to convince the druid from a nearby village. Maybe I'll start off with what it tells me to do first, the Pimpernel. So see you at that forest in a second. So it seems to be on the edge of the uh, destroyed forest where Siri created that explosion. Well, the mage created that explosion. And we need to find the Pimpernel, but it's... Protected by a creature that makes funny noises. Let's save just in case. Pollen on the leaf still. Someone picked the bloom recently. Sounds like a hag uh, to me. Another seeker of Pimpernel. Another? Gremist has sent countless young druids into the forest. They emerge drained, with a blank stare, and with no flower. And they never speak of what happened. I've asked Gremis to stop the folly. He looked at me and laughed. But the fun's over. One of our novices, Ramond, has failed to return. I've come to find him, alive or dead. Okay then, let's go in together then. Listen, you're looking for a druid, I'm looking for a flower. Let's go in together. Why not? I could use the help of a tracker. Lead the way. So, um, search the woods. Battles. Hoof prints, but a bipeds. Uh, bipeds hoof prints. So, creature with two. That's not good. Kind of looks like the succubus's prints. But I could be wrong. Flower. And petals. Okay, so let's continue following the the hoofs. An armored aracos. Whatever that may be. Well, am I glad I have, I have this uh, druid with me? He's kicking its ass! Holy shit! There it goes! Okay, Armored Arrakos. Shit in his shell and Arrakos eyes. Unlikely that he ventured out so far. We're going the wrong way! Okay, okay, take it easy. I'll follow you all over Skellige. I shall return where the trail begins. Uh, okay. What the hell is he talking about? Did he just lose interest because I went too well, far? Prepared to help me find Ramond now? Uh, I already was, but... Sure, let's go. You pushed the creature 15,000 miles away. So, let's continue looking. Footprints. Some fresh, others faded. 
all leading in the same direction. So multiple people went this way. So enough footprints to go around. Apparently oh, we no, found something. Oh, stop, please. <laughs> oh, this is great. No, no, stop. <sighs> please. What the hell? Stop it, that tickles. <laughs> Who can play this game, you horrible? Yes, a succubus. Unhand him, hellish creature. Ramon, step away from her. Ah, calm down. I've not been harmed. I came here. You don't know what you're saying. She's cast a spell on you. Nonsense. I need no spell. These boys come here themselves. In fact, I must use magic to drive them away. Make them go home. Only Ramon was nice, so I let him stay. Well, I can actually understand that. Your wretched charm won't work on me. I shall kill you here and now, monster. Um, well, I let the other succubus go, so I might as well leave this one alone. I don't see any reason to kill her. She's a monster, sure, but a sentient one, and basically harmless. No such thing. Just as there's no dry water, no cold fire. But if you'll not help, very well. I shall tend to her myself. Oh, come I'd on. Advise against it. I will return. With one who does not carry a sword for show. Uh, Why okay, did you then. take my side? I'm afraid you'll be sorely disappointed. I don't generally couple with witches. Especially not out of gratitude. I didn't expect you to... But I might want to ask the question. Tell me why not. Is it the scars? I detest when a man smells of blood. You witches always reek of it. Fiend blood, chort blood, and these are my brethren. You're right. But unlike fiends and chorts, you... Have ample breasts and a pretty face. I know. Their lack of these attributes, is that what makes them easy to kill? It's a bit um. more complicated than that. But never mind. No means no, I get it. It's actually weird. Is that the same voice as one of the crones? Can't think of another way you can repay me. I'm looking for Pimpernel. You know this forest. Maybe you could help me. I shall take you myself. And you, Ramund, go pick some more violets. Just the indigo ones this time. Uh, indigo? You mean blue? No. Indigo is indigo. <sighs> Men. <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. So let's follow the. I need all these flowers. Nosy, aren't you? Wait and see. The goat-legged, well, lady. Don't really like the, the voice, though. But let's follow her. She might pick up the pace a bit. I'm probably gonna have to educate this video again because of the boobs. Oh, this is gonna end badly, isn't it? Let's drink some apple juice. Oh, that looks actually really pretty. Pretty, don't you think? Bellflowers, violets, king cups, pimpernels. I must pick some edelweiss. Yeah, it is really nice, actually. Take one, but no more. I've put a lot of work into making this cat oh. cozy. Okay, fair enough. Pimpernel. Thank you very much. So that's one part done. I don't know if she has anything else to say. Probably not. Okay. So, uh, the lair of a succubus. Look at that. So now we'll head to Fritch of the Dru Druid in the nearby village. And let's try to convince him. Uh, the Grammist needs his help. So I'll see you at Fritjof in a minute. Come on, Roach. Actually, the abandoned distillery was a lot closer to where we were at the succubus lair. So we're gonna head there first. Look at this landscape. Hey, uh, oh, there goes the horse. I'm gonna dismount because Roach doesn't like it anymore. And I see enemies on the map. Looks like all ghouls. So 
So if you use Axie on an Al Ghul, it hides its spikes. And there we go, two Al Ghuls down. There we go. It's gonna help with my uh, alchemy materials anyway. So it looks like there should be something down there, but there's a bit of loot over here as well. Glowing ore, so let's put the sword away. Let's go check downstairs. Well, if you could call these stairs. So this is the distillery. Okay. Was hoping he would stop before that. Uh, and a fast travel point, and there seems to be an entrance to a cave here. So let's say before we enter... Holy shit, a giant! Well, that's a problem. Can we talk to this thing? A cyclone! <laughs> Okay, Cyclops is there. Cyclops won't bother me anymore. And look around peacefully now. Monster, monster, Cyclops eye and five empty bottles. We're gonna be using those empty bottles. So let's take a look around. And hopefully we can find some more ale lying around here. Get out, okay. Seems to be a lot of stuff. Oh, over there, there's an entrance. Riona Lunar Shards. Valerian Hardened Leather Trousers. Interesting. Distiller's Log. So let's read that. Damn, beasts come around again. Refuse to go till I poured some spirit in the basin. Till I filled it to the brim. It drank it all in one slurp and left. Well, the weeks passed and it's come again. I threw stones to chase a dolph, then I threw stones back and broke three of my ribs. Howled and screamed till I poured some more. So he tried to throw rocks at a cyclops. Bad idea. I've gone through my ledger, that plowing beasts drank half my supply. I shan't give it another drop, no matter what. Think it's time I called for a witcher. Well, we should have done that before that. An enhanced cavalry saddle. Stealing recipes. Parchment's a little faded, but legible. Okay. Tjalf, I'm giving you one last chance. Either do everything properly or your apprenticeship is over and you can start packing your bags. Here are your instructions. Read them twice to make sure they make it into that watery brain of yours. Put the mash in the evaporator, light a fire under the evaporator, cool the condenser, first turn the right lever, then the left, not the other way around. Is that hard? No. The answer is no. So get to work, Dagfin. Yes, don't toss rotten malt out behind the distillery. Dump it in the mainstream. In the mainstream. In the stream. Otherwise someone will catch a whiff of something and come investigate. So light a fire and then right and then left. And we need to find some mash. Uh, mash. Upstairs. I think I see it. Must be the stuff over there. No, 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 no. Oh, God damn it! Climb back up. Mash. Got lucky. Bit of mash left. So put the mash. Where do I need to put the mash? I don't make booze usually. Oh, no, no, no. That's what I get for trying to go faster. So over here. There's a lot of stuff over here as well. I 
And it doesn't look like I can add the mash from here. Oh, we dropped down. Do I need to do anything with this? No, no, no. Oh, fuck. Extinguish. There was an open. Here's where the mash goes, probably. There we go. Add mash. There we go. Done. Now Done to boil the mash. I did. Can't I do that with Igni? Just need to do it like that, okay? So it's ignited. Ought to be enough. Time to cool it down. So then, right. And then left. Well, well. Turns out I'm quite the distiller. Look at that. Uh, Skellige spirits. There we go. Okay, now the only thing we need to do is talk to that druid and get him to join us in our uh, merry adventure. So see you guys at Fritjof's place in a minute. For real this time. So we're pretty much at uh, Fritjof's place and uh, well we're gonna have to do our best to convince this man because it's the last step that we needed to do to earn uh, Gramist's favor. You Fritjof? That's right. And what do they call you, Witcher? Me? Drifter, stranger, mutant, sometimes even by my name, Geralt of Rivia. Ha! <laughs> a man with a sense of humor. I like that. Well, what can I do for you, Geralt of Rivia? Well, uh, Gremist needs you. Gremist wanted me to summon you. Need you to help him perform a ritual. A ritual? Will this one stop him from being a mean old goat? I would go see him for old time's sake, but I have more important matters on my mind. Look oh, crap. The ground. See how dry it is. It's not rained for weeks. The grass and pastures has withered. Sheep are starving. I must bring rain. But fear the... Wait just a moment. Perhaps you could help me. God damn it. I'm a man of many talents, but manipulating the weather is not one of them. I have in mind a different skill involving your sword. You see, Mother Nature dislikes it when you take something from her by force. She will defend herself. So fiercely, in fact, that I could use a defender myself. What do you say? Well, I don't have a lot of choice now, do I? Deal, favor for a favor. Sure, I'll help. Provided you go see Gremist afterwards. Agreed. Now follow me. Time for a little storm. This could be interesting. Okay, let's follow the wolf and the three sheep. Are those part Animal of the ritual? Sacrifice. Should we burn folk at the stake as they do on the continent? Better a sacrifice of goats and sheep, I think. Okay then. It's a bit uh, creepy. But what's need what needs to be done needs to be done. Oh poor sheep. Skuka, swarm, fatna, hala. Hello, hello, mom. It's starting. What is starting? I'm gonna guess foglets. Yeah, there we go. Flutter, Himmel, Flutter, Moiler, Flacker, Ock, Blitzer! Damn, wow. Yeah, indeed, lots of them. I got a little wolfy help. So those are the copies. And there goes the Foglet's arm. There's one left, I think. There we go. 
Okay, the fog has dispersed, so uh, I'm guessing it worked. And it's raining. Storm, damn it. No, no, that's that's good, Geralt. I've not managed a storm that fine for ages. Did you see the drops? The size of eggs. A little busy tending to the foglets. They weren't small either. Ah, yes. Unfortunately, they always emerge. But perhaps that's for the best. Uh, what? Why? For the best. Why? If manipulating the weather carried no risks, it'd not give me peace. Make it rain, make the sun shine. Some would want storms, others a sea calm as a pond frozen over. This way folk petition me only when their need is great, not because they've had a whim. I get it. Yeah. There are times I wish I didn't have to chase this necker or that drowner. So, uh, for my part of the deal, well, your part Grimace of the deal. Now? With pleasure. After a storm of those proportions, I shall gladly have a to help him with his ritual. Till then. A drink? Seriously? Is that? Is that what this is about? I haven't played this quest before, but it sounds like those guys are just gonna have a drink. Because I went to make that spirit. Oh fuck! I got. I got just. Okay, let's go see Grammist again. See you guys there in a minute. So there we go, back at uh, Gremist. He's probably in the cave below here. So uh, let's walk around and see what he's up to. Yeah, okay, so that's here's where we uh, spoke in Lost. So his house is in a cave. Yeah, they're just gonna have a drink. Oh, hi, Gremist. Did everything you asked. Phenomenal, my boy! So, Fritjof, shall we begin? The sooner the better. We've had a long night ahead of us. Oh, they're just gonna drink. For members of the inner circle. Thus, my dear apprentice, you must wait outside. Under no circumstances must you enter. We shall begin your tutelage, come on. Yeah, right. As you wish, master. Will you finally tell me what the ritual's about? Nay, nay. No one likes a meddler. Suffice to say, it's a burning matter now. Shoot! He has a real smoker's voice. Wait till the next day. Well, we don't have time to wait. Luckily, a witcher is uh, equipped with extreme meditating skills. There goes an entire day like it was nothing. So I'm probably gonna have to wait another hour. There we go. Let's go inside. Uh, we must have another. Yeah, Gosh, there's stone stuff. trunk. Aye, as the base from Moss Gordon and Spear from Hale Hell. Good times, Fritz. Good times. Finally, something other than damn potions and transmutations. Guess the ritual's not over yet. Gerd, I thought I told you to sh stay outside. Only dreads in the inner circle. Circle, sir. You, sir, Let the boy have some are an fun. asshole. He's earned it. <laughs> Fine. Pour yourself some. Gerd, let the lessons begin. Um, study hard, drink hard. That's what I like. Yeah, let's go for that. Drink hard and study hard. I like the idea. Yeah. I call it stimulation and assimilation. First you stimulate, and then <laughs> you assimilate. A shut down. Shut down? Yeah. <laughs> Let's start with ingesting toxins. Best approach, practice makes perfect. I do hope I get to learn I've something from that. Already. Good thing. I'll make learning my secret method easier. Look! You take the potion like this, and go. Who said old age is a burden? God damn it, sometime later. And I'm drunk as hell. I got five sulfur, five alkahests, five hand fiber. Did I actually get something useful? I am drunk as fuck. Saltpater, and that's it. What? Let's talk to Grammist again. What do you want now? I taught you all I know. Seriously? 
Got anything to sell? I do, but it's expensive. Let's see what the man sells. Holy shipples. There's a lot in his inventory. So that's the potion of clearance. You can use that to uh, reset your ability points and spend them on something else. He has rune stones up the gaff. Uh, diagrams for glyphs. And then the more important things. Formula for rebus. I'm going to use that. Enhanced vampire oil. Hogwarts oil. So that's all the... Wow. Those are all the diagrams I was missing. So, uh... Don't mind me if I buy everything from this man. Oh, nope, not that. And there we go, all the diagrams for me. Um, he does not have those fancy ingredients, which is a bit saddening. Um, but I'll probably... I'm probably able to make a few potions from that, so let's go to alchemy, and let's see. So two alchemy substances, I can make a green mutagen from monster slain before. There we go, and the crater green mutagen even. There we go, and then there's another substance I can make, oh, just a red mutagen, that's... That's silly, I can make a greater one as well, okay, there we go. I can't make Rebus. What do I need? White Gull. And Mistletoe. Oh, don't. I didn't intend for it to go that way. Alcohol. I still can't make White Gull. I'm still needing Cherry Cordial and Mandrake Cordial, which I haven't found anywhere. I can make a Superior Dancing Star. Or, because I need this stuff, I need Grado. Superior Dimeridium Bomb. So Dancing Star is the explosion. Um, and Dimeridium is the magic one. I'm gonna upgrade the magic one first. There we go. And that blocks me from making anything else. So decoctions, nothing. Oils. Enhanced Vampire Oil. There we go. Superior, we need one of those fancy ingredients. So that's the block I was talking about. I can't seem to create those fancy things on the end here always the colored powder so that's it for the uh, see you I prefer goodbye okay then the quest a practicum in enhanced sign uh, alchemy I think was the title well you'll see it in the description but uh, I'm going to take a little break, so thank you guys enormously for watching. And if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a toast to subscribe to my channel, because it really helps me in uh, creating these episodes. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!